So our next guest, our last guest for the morning show is Kara Connor with Policy Mike. If you haven't seen or heard of Policy Mike, make sure you go check them out. New platform engaging with millennials in culture as well as politics and some other driving conversations. So I'm excited to introduce Kara Connor. Hi, Kara. Come on out. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm well. How are you? Hi. Nice Good to, to see you. you. Nice yes. To see you too. So, Kara, talk to us about Policy Mike. What is Policy Mike? So, Policy Mike is a digital media company telling stories that matter most to young people, and how we're a little bit different from some of the other digital media places in uh, comparable landscape is that we offer perspectives rather than doing straight reporting. So our readership comes to us for perspectives on world events, on tech, on culture, on the arts, because our writers, you know, we're tailored very directly to a young, smart, 20-something audience. And our writers are engaged in the issues that they're writing about and offering their unique bias. And, you know, that sets us apart because we have this original analysis on something that's happening. Because you can get the straight news anywhere. Yeah. So. so you're the community editor now. I am the community editor, yes. <laughs> so what does that mean? <laughs> so I am actually in charge of editorial hiring. Okay. I do the bulk of our editorial hires. So when we are looking to launch some new verticals, which we are doing this year, which is very exciting. Good. For example, a science section, um, I will be the person looking for a science editor. Excellent. And I do a couple of other things, but that is the, the main area of responsibility. What kind of content across your platform really engages a lot of your community? The, the policy my community at large? Yeah, at or, large. Whew, I think, <laughs> you know, it runs the gamut. I think the, the most important thing that we consider for every story that we run is would you feel proud to tell this story at a dinner party? Yeah. You know, because for us, it's the way that young people consume information is on social media. And, you know, most of our traffic comes from social, particularly Facebook. And so there's a sensibility to us that it's, it's conversational, it's relatable, but in a way that doesn't dumb down the facts or the analysis behind what's being reported. And it's, you know, our editors and our dev team, like every, every piece that we put out is packaged in a way to be optimized for this new form of distribution. Um, so the stories that do well are ones that tap into readers' emotions, whether, you know, that's anger or, uh, I was going to say, um, like high arousing emotions, right. you know, sadness, you know, not sadness, but you, you feel proud to share it. You feel empowered with knowledge. It moves for sharing you. It, it moves you. Yes, Absolutely. exactly. And so those, you know, and they can be, you know, it might be a piece on politics or it might be on LGBT or it might be um, like on nostalgia movie list from the 90s. It's <laughs> just... You know, people want to share things because of the way that it makes them feel. And so we, we look into that. Good. So in terms of writers and the people that you're recruiting to write, I mean, do you look for certain things when you, like, you know, that's, they know how to write that because they can pull that out, that emotion? Yes. So the most important thing that we look for is a voice. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to have this, like, long, extensive career in journalism, particularly with new media and with digital journalism and the escape of... Almost everybody can, you know. Exactly. Like, you can write... It's having, you know, a sense of, here's a story, but here's why this story matters. Here's why this story matters for young people. Here's how it impacts them. And it's, you know, pulling out the little bits and pieces of information of, like, why does this matter for me? Why does this matter for the, you know, rest of... 20 something um, in the country, in the world, and why would they want to connect to this story? Um, so knowing how to do that, having something that you care about and being able to explain why it has broader appeal is step one. Good, good, good. good. <laughs> yeah. Well, so a couple questions around what you're going to be doing in the future. So what's Policy Mike up to? Is there anything that you can tell us we should be looking out for? So one thing that I personally am very excited about that we have is a new editorial fellows program. Okay. We have four amazing uh, Mike editorial fellows in the office, and they, we have um, two partnerships, one with Northwestern Medill School of Journalism and then one with Columbia Graduate School of Journalism. So we have one guy. Yeah. yeah, one guy from each of those, and then we have two others just from out in the world, um, and they are really getting a comprehensive training in what does it mean to be an editor in a digital you know, media space. And it functions like an editor and training program, like a, a pipeline for potential hires. And as something to offer, like, you know, 
regardless of what happens after the program, here we have these, these extensions of, of our brand out in the community and telling their stories, and it, it functions as another platform and launching pad for new media careers. Very cool. So in, it has to be an interesting conversation to, with universities around, this is this digital media new <laughs> news journalism thing, and you know, traditional, what's been taught right. has changed. So yes. how is that, I mean, that's a unique partnership, right? It is unique, but you know, I mean, I, I actually, uh, a couple of months ago, I spoke to a class at Columbia, their audience and engagement class, and they, there, are, there are journalism programs around the country who are very clued into that this is the reality, and this is you know, how to build a brand, and what it means to be a journalist, and I think people you know, kind of latched on to the more traditional media are, are finding it increasingly difficult. Yeah. Um, but there's definitely an openness and a willingness to embrace the changing landscape and want to provide their students with meaningful opportunities. Very cool. And it's, it's great to be at the intersection of that. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Thanks you for so being much. a partner. Absolutely.